I am Eman Delocado, the Program Manager for the SDGs at the Ateneo Institute of Sustainability and the Country Manager of Sustainable Development Solutions Network Philippines. I am also an instru assistant instructor, assistant professor uh, the Department of Biology working on freshwater biodiversity. I would say that my role in achieving and advancing the 2030 Agenda is primarily on the realm of sustainability education. Our goal at the AIS is to mainstream sustainability, resilience, and integral ecology. Thus, we look at education, information, and communication strategies to relay uh, the, the issues on food security, climate change, transport and mobility, among others, are multifaceted issues. We then leverage such experience in mobilizing knowledge into innovative solutions and policy making. As the country manager of SDS in Philippines, I expand the reach beyond our university and synergize initiatives among the 23 member HEIs and research centers throughout the country. On, a pers on the personal level, I try to integrate sustainability principles and systems thinking in my classes, such as biodiversity and ecology. I also took part in designing and piloting a basic education science curriculum, which promotes creative problem solving on a real-world community issue grounded on the uh, community-based SDGs. Currently, SDSN Philippines has been as a working group on the thematic area of SDG two zero hunger. Moving forward, we hope to build uh, we hope to build more working groups on other thematic areas and transformation such as biodiversity conservation and ecosystem restoration, uh, cross cutting SDG six thirteen fourteen fifteen. With this step, we can have more boots on the ground to serve as local SDG stewards. We hope to involve our youth also more in our activities. The enthusiasm and the passion of our youth these days is so electric. We hope to work more closely with them in communicating and achieving the 2030 agenda. Also, uh, universities alone cannot achieve the 2030 agenda. So SDSN Philippines also plans to strengthen our program, which promotes linkages between academe, government, and businesses to further the SDGs. Uh, for the next generation, I have two messages. First is, while we face a lot of setbacks attaining the SDGs due to the pandemic, not all hope is lost. We have to keep in mind that many of our problems are human problems and does require human solutions, human actions. We have to find and optimize these human solutions to our problems. We need you to help us in deriving these solutions. The second message is uh, the second message links the questions to what then we can do. Given the complexity of the world that we live in right now, the problems are very much interrelated. Uh, because of that, no single field holds a monopoly in solving our problems, whether it's the social sciences, the natural sciences, the humanities, other fields. We don't, no one holds a monopoly in solving the problems. So we have to tap into our individual strengths and expertise, the passion and the interest of the youth, whatever these may be, and use those um, as lenses to see how we can contribute to the 2030 agenda. It seems daunting that we have a lot of problems on environmental, social, and economic realms. But as long as there are individuals who decide and choose on a daily basis to fight and advocate for this, many of them, even among the most vulnerable, we should not lose hope for them. Mm -hmm.